Hey, this is Whip from Brands and Serico. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to stay till the end of the video and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So you need some kind of a basic soak tank. This is the one from Cerakote, which is the one that we don't necessarily recommend. Not because there's really anything wrong with the newer version they have, which is stainless steel, but because it really limits you on the size of projects that you can put in here and the amount of projects you can put in. If you're using simple green especially, you don't need a metal container. You can get some kind of a polypropylene or uh, HDPE is even better container and fill it full of simple green, put enough in there to cover your projects and soak them there, save hundreds of dollars doing that. Our new soak tank at our new shop is actually HDPE. We had it custom built for us. Um, it's an 80 gallon tank that we're never gonna put 80 gallons in there, but it's also gonna last us for years. We built a custom stand for it. But just something that will cover your parts. If you've got longer parts like barreled action Remington 700s, get a section of PVC pipe, put a cap on the end of it, seal it up really good, put your part, uh, your uh, barreled action in there, and then fill that up with simple green and let it sit. Sandblast cabinet, the, the thing we usually tell people on sandblast cabinets is, this is one of those pieces of equipment where you wanna go bigger if you can afford to go bigger. Uh, Harbor freight cabinet, something like that will work but it's not gonna give you the space to do larger items. It's not gonna let you do multiple things at one time. And it's, it's not really designed to do like production type or, or a busy shop type stuff. This is the only really original piece of equipment we have from when we started. And we like this cabinet so much. This is from TP Tools that we actually bought another one for the new shop. There's a lot of upgrades. We've got several videos on these that kind of tell you what we've upgraded over the years. So you, know, you can go check those out. But a, a good sandblast cabinet's gonna be worth every penny you put into it. A good purpose-built oven is not a necessity, but it is something that will save you on the bottleneck part of the whole process. These ovens run somewhere usually in the, in the range of about 2300 to 4000 depending on what size you get. The, the bottleneck in the whole process is hard baking things or, or finished baking, sometimes tacking, uh, just depending on how much space you have in the oven. So if you've got some small oven, some people use smokers or lockers or things like that, you're not going to be able to spray an entire 30 or 40 piece project at one time and tack it. You have to do that in batches. So a larger oven, if you can afford to start out with one, is gonna allow you to do complete projects all at one time, even if all you do is tack them out, set them aside, and then come back at the end of the day and, and put everything in and, and hard bake it. A, you know, Investing in a, a larger oven up front is gonna just save you headaches down the road and it's gonna save you money. Some kind of a Craigslist type refrigerator, just an old beater house fridge that still works. Set it to warmest temperature. This one runs at about 55 to 58 degrees and put all your coating in there. Um, that's gonna make your coating last a lot longer. You want it at the warmest temperature because you don't want it to get super cold. If it ever freezes, it's bad. You might as well throw it away. But keeping it at a constant temperature is going to keep it from losing a lot of solvent going bad on you. We also put our squeeze bottles for our acetone in the freezer, especially over the weekends, you don't lose as much through evaporation. So just little cost saving tips that make your coating and your acetone last longer. Spray booth is about the last thing that I tell people to spend money on. It's not a necessity, especially if you're somewhat handy and you can build something like this. They're really high efficiency, high CFM fans you can get from Granger or other places like that that you could build this booth out of just plywood and you know some two by four. So uh, this is absolutely a luxury. It's not something you must spend money on. These things are in the several thousands of dollars uh, to buy commercially. If you did want one though, Global Finishing Solutions is who we bought our two booths from, this one and the one at the new shop. Uh, absolutely would recommend them. Uh, you know, no problem. It's a really good company. They make a really good booth. The last little thing we'll touch on is just three little pieces of equipment that really do improve your efficiency. Uh, these ultrasonic cleaners don't come by size, they come by liters. This is a nine liter and it works really good for cleaning up your glass and not necessarily your spray guns unless you strip them all the way down, but your parts for your spray gun, your needles, your cones, things like that. So. We'll throw those in here and we'll throw in our 325 filters after we use Elite that just keeps those really clean. 
um, it's worth the money to go ahead and invest one. The other thing we'll talk about real quick are these magnetic spinners. These are a para brand, it's A-P-E-R-A. -E There's cheaper ones out there, don't waste your money on them, they don't work. Um, the ones I've found that are a little bit cheaper, they don't spin the Cerakote. These things are worth every penny. You gotta buy the little magnets separately, but these save you at least an hour a day of just hand spinning. And then the last thing we'll talk about is just a toaster oven. This toaster oven is going to allow you to cook smaller projects at either like the 300 if you've got just a pistol barrel you need to do an elite or micro slick, or if you've got just a pistol frame and a bunch of metal instead of running your you know 220 oven up, you can just pop that into a small toaster oven like this and bake it out really quick for the two hours or the one hour at 300 for metal. Um, just make sure that it's got a convection fan so you, you can still circulate the, the heat in that small area. So the last thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to give everybody something we've never done in our videos. We're just going to give you a quick pan around our current shop. Um, something we've taken real pains to not show uh, over the years is the fact that we've been running this out of our shop for about the last five of the first seven years that we've been open out of a two-car garage attached to our house. So here's our quick pan around and then we'll wrap this one up. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and check us out at burnsandcerakote.com for your Cerakote laser and stencil needs. Have a great day.